Hey guys, it's Tricky Nick here. With its immense popularity and consistently great sales, Mario Kart is rarely ever in a drought when it comes to new releases. In fact, the only time we've gone more than five years without a new mainline Mario Kart game is right now. Thanks a lot, Switch ports. I've been playing Dolphin Shoals for like a f yeah. decade. But despite the persistent and continuous release of Mario Kart games, there have actually been a few that were cancelled along the way. It's pretty crazy to imagine that there's such an abundance of Mario Kart games, and despite having to cancel some, there are no large gaps in releases. Where did they find the time? Did they just have like 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 a Mario Kart sweatshop or something? But why did these Mario Kart games get canceled? Was it truly warranted that these titles never got to see store shelves? Well today, we're gonna look back at these cancelled slash unreleased Mario Kart games and decipher why they were never meant to see the light of day. Without further ado, let's a go! Do you hate being able to see and love Mario Kart? Well... Bad news, you're gonna be waiting a while to see those two things combine, as the Virtual Boy rendition of Mario Kart was cancelled pretty early on into its development. The Virtual Boy was Nintendo's worst selling console, selling only a total of about 770,000 units in its one year lifespan. I mean, I've got a soft spot for it, but almost everyone else is too stuck up and doesn't want to sacrifice their vision for Mario Tennis. In the time the Virtual Boy was out though, only 22 games were released, most of them causing you to require medical attention after playing for more than a half hour. As a result of this colossal failure, Nintendo cancelled the Virtual Boy Mario Kart before it even really began development. In fact, the only reason we know this game even existed was because of German magazine known as The Big N cited it as one of the many cancelled games for the Virtual Boy. Apart from that though, there's no information on the roster, courses, or items. For all we know, this game could have just been a port of Super Mario Kart put into red monochrome. Or it could have been the definitive Mario Kart experience, transporting us into a virtual reality to play a Mario Kart game that provides us with one of the most immersive experiences on the system. Lucky for us though, homebrew game developer Dog P created a rendition of what he thought the game would look like. Yeah, that definitely would not have been the definitive Mario Kart experience. In fact, I think I can sleep better knowing it never came out. Mario Kart Super Circuit was the first handheld Mario Kart game, released for the Game Boy Advance in 2001. Unfortunately, it hasn't really stood the test of time. The main issue with the game was that rather than taking a three-dimensional approach to a racing game, you know, like you should, this game utilized Mode 7 to make the game feel 3D. It didn't. And that wasn't good enough for Denarius Entertainment Software. This German development team decided that they would take a crack at improving upon this entry in the Mario Kart series. As a result, the team created a tech demo for 3D Mario Kart for the Game Boy Advance that came out pretty well. It showcased the Game Boy Advance's ability to render two background layers and looks pretty impressive for a GBA game. Surprisingly enough, and luckily for us, the ROM file for this game was actually recovered and we can see what it looks like in action. Unfortunately though, we can't play it for ourselves because to this day the person who recovered the ROM is rude and won't share it with the class, but from just looking at the game alone, it's not hard to tell that this was definitely a much better rendition of Game Boy Mario Kart. So this begs the question, why the heck wouldn't Nintendo release this? Well, Denarius created the Mario Kart XXL tech demo in 2004 and Mario Kart DS was released in 2005. A person with a keen eye and astute attention to detail may have noticed, 2004 and 2005 are very close together. Mario Kart DS was well into development by the time Mario Kart XXL was proposed, so shifting development efforts to a soon to be outdated console wasn't really practical. Also, it would run the risk of cannibalizing Mario Kart sales. Had this game been shown off before Nintendo was hard at work on Mario Kart DS, who knows, maybe we would have seen two Mario Kart games for the Game Boy. But sadly, the timing didn't work out and all we got was Mario Kart DS. Well I say sadly, but Mario Kart DS is like the best entry in the franchise so it worked out just fine. In fact, Mario Kart DS was actually pretty pivotal in getting Mario Kart into the mainstream, so it's probably for the better that it was chosen over Mario Kart XXL. We all know Elon Musk, inventor of funny numbers such as 420 and 69, founder of Tesla, you know, this guy. Well did you also know that Elon Musk attempted to get a Mario Kart port as one of the many video games featured within the Tesla Model 3? Yeah, it's pretty wild stuff. Musk actually took to Nintendo to try to get them to license out a Mario Kart game for the screen of the Tesla that would utilize the actual brake pad, gas pedal, and steering wheel to control the game. After contacting Nintendo about this proposition though, they swiftly declined the offer according to one of Elon's later tweets. That's pretty unfortunate, but luckily he did manage to get Mario Kart ripoff Beach Buggy Racing to join the Tesla game lineup. Take my $35,000, it's more than worth it! In all seriousness, I think it would have been pretty amazing to have Mario Kart on a Tesla, but the fact that the Tesla features games at all is wild on its own. 
Sadly, Nintendo is too stingy with a franchise of such importance to them, so they would never risk sending it out to Mr. Funny Doge Man. Who knows, maybe they'll port Mario Kart to a Mars rover someday. You know, because that'll definitely be a livable place for humans. What with its negative 80 degree weather, unbreathable air, volcanoes everywhere, and 215 million mile distance from Earth, it'll be great for Mario Kart. The final Mario Kart game that was cancelled technically wasn't focused on Mario, but rather his green dinosaur companion. That's right, Yoshi was planned to have his very own racing game released for the Nintendo 64. Developers Argonaut Games had just finished working on Star Fox for the SNES when they pitched the idea of a Yoshi-themed racing game to Nintendo. In response to this... <laughs> In response to this, Nintendo not only rejected the idea, but completely scrapped any and all work the team did on Star Fox 2. This is especially cruel when you consider the fact that they were essentially done with the game, but Nintendo did not give a single sh**. Whoa. Eventually, Star Fox 2 did release, but sadly no Yoshi Racing game ever got close. And I am sure Argonaut Games learned a valuable lesson not to toy with Nintendo or their beloved creatures. That's what you get for trying to even mutter the word Yoshi without punishment. However, the basis for the idea of the Yoshi Racing game actually became the basis for the PS1 exclusive title, Croc Legend of the Gabos. Judging by review scores for the game, Nintendo missed out on an opportunity for a pretty solid title. I mean, I don't think it would have done as well as Mario Kart, but it would have been really cool. On the other hand, it may have cannibalized Mario Kart sales and killed both franchises, we'll never really know. And that concludes the list of every cancelled Mario Kart game, at least that we know of. Maybe there was a Mario and f***ing Rabbids game planned, or a Mario and Sonic racing type of game, who knows? I'm not personally upset by any of these games being cancelled, except for of course the Virtual Boy Mario Kart, which had some serious potential. I mean, look at these graphics, that thing was the bomb! Heck, maybe it would've saved the Virtual Boy! On second thought, I don't think anything would've saved this piece of